Should you head to the yoga studio or to the gym for your BJJ performance? Hey everyone, James here from Sweet Science of Fighting. And if I only had to pick one out of doing yoga or strength training for Jiu Jitsu, it would be strength training. And here are the five main reasons why I would choose strength training over yoga for your BJJ. Number one, strength training has been shown to be just as effective at improving range of motion as static stretching. Now there's some great research out there that compares groups that perform static stretches and then groups that perform strength training over a full range of motion. And they find that the outcomes of strength training are similar to that of static stretching, but the groups that also or that perform strength training are also able to display greater strength um, in the muscles that were trained. Now it's important to note that when you're doing strength training, um, when you're aiming to improve range of motion, you need to be able to perform exercises in the fullest range of motion you can. If you're performing partial ranges of motion, you're not gonna see these same results as in these studies. Now specifically, eccentric training tends to be the exercise modality that improves range of motion quite well. And the reason is we have these muscle fibers, little parts of muscle fibers that run along a line. When we perform eccentric style training, we actually add extra pieces at the end of the muscle fiber, and that's called adding sarcomeres in the series. And essentially we're lengthening the muscle. And by lengthening the muscle, we're also improving the angle that we can produce peak torque or peak force. And what does that mean? It means that rather than only be able to produce a lot of force at short muscle lengths, we can now produce more force at longer muscle lengths, which is vitally important um, for flexibility and mobility, but also for our second reason why I'll choose strength training, and that is to reduce the risk of injury. A recent meta-analysis has shown that strength training can reduce the likelihood of injury by 66% or two thirds, whereas static stretching has not shown to reduce the risk of injury, and that's over a multitude of different sports. Further, research has shown that having a higher 1RM bat squat is also associated with reducing the likelihood of injury. So it seems that generally being stronger tends to reduce your risk of injury. My third reason is that active flexibility or mobility is better than passive flexibility when it comes to sports or BJJ performance. Now, static stretching will, might give you a temporary change in range of motion, whereas you can reach that range of motion, but you may not be able to produce force in that new range of motion. And the problem becomes when you get put in these positions in jujitsu, and then you need to produce force, for example, to escape or to resist, that's when you start to see muscle injury. Whereas if you can get into these new ranges of motion while being able to produce force, and that is being able to control that end range of motion, you're in a much better spot and reducing your risk of injury because you've been there and you can produce force in that position. My fourth reason is being stronger generally allows you to handle higher workloads or higher training loads, which means if you are stronger, you should be able to handle longer and harder jujitsu training sessions without risking injury. And this has been shown in amateur hurling players where players who had greater 3RM trap bar deadlifts were able to handle higher workloads in training. And lastly, my fifth reason for choosing strength training is that strength training just transfers better to BJJ performance. Sure, being more flexible from yoga can help, but you can also get more flexible from strength training and performing your sport on the mats. Further, if you want to get stronger, you can then finish more takedowns. You can potentially escape um, more submissions. You can potentially finish more submissions and you can ideally be able to out wrestle other opponents on the mat just because you are now stronger. Now let's not take away the fact that obviously technique is an important part to all of this, but having the strength along with that technique is gonna go much further than just having some extra flexibility with that technique. Now I'm not saying you can't do both. I just mentioned that if I was to choose one, I would choose strength training, but there's no harm in performing both yoga and strength training in conjunction with your Jiu Jitsu. Yoga has its benefits, for example, Performing a, a nighttime yoga routine can help bring uh, almost like a meditative state, can bring your mind down, can bring your body down to allow you to sleep, and you can perform that at night. It can help you learn breathing techniques, which you can carry over into your jujitsu. So there's positives to performing both, but if you're stuck on time, strength training is the one you should choose. Now, if you go into the description, I've got this in a blog post format, 
So if you want to read a little more in depth into this uh, topic, that's all there for you. I've also got a free ebook for you on balancing your strength training with your jujitsu so you're not going to class sore and tired. And that is also in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If there's any topics you want me to cover, please write them down in the comments.